remember was, you see, I was kind of short-sighted, so I never really looked, I didn't have that vanity of looking at myself. Sure. Many other vanities, but not that one. <laughs> and so when I got Doctor Who, yeah. uh, I suddenly had to start signing these photographs. Yeah. And I kept looking and thinking, who's this old man? Because <laughs> the last time I'd seen this face, it was a young man, and then I went short-sighted. And I've stayed with that young man up until I started signing my uh, autograph. Yeah. And now I look at these same photographs and I think, who is that young man? <laughs> Must be my son. <laughs> no, no, it's my grandson. Oh, I'm getting so old. <laughs> God, I'm so bad at names, but he, um, um, I left my heart in San Francisco. Hang on, oh. um, um, we'll, we'll look it up sure. and um, see if... Um... Tony Bennett? Tony Bennett, <laughs> yes. Well, I was in a... I was in a um, of um, Paris of Pins Absent Drew Lane with Annie Ross. Now, Annie Ross was a great jazz singer in Britain and also, you know, she was known in America. And after we finished, we always went to Annie's room for, you know, drinks and chat. And you go in there and the first famous people would come in and you see them regularly, you know. Sure. But then one day I walked in and there was Tony Benny. No, and, yeah, yeah. And um, I, I just, I was gobsmacked. I didn't, in my whole life, I never thought I would ever meet him. And then there he was. And I could get this one. <laughs> they said, there's the costume. Yeah, that light was nice. Okay. You know, we're going to have that. And the bent nose and the wig and beard. Yeah. That was great. And then he said, I've got it for you. Put some shit on you. <laughs> Bleep on me. And so that, that was... Mm. And then he, he, said, he said after this, I've always wanted to cover an actor in shit. <laughs> So that was, that was, a, that was, it came with the character? That came with the character, okay. so, you know, I was a shitty character. <laughs> I, I was a, a, a pongy, a pongy hippie, really. Yeah. You know, kind of, yeah, suppose true. he smelled, ooh, yeah. must have smelled terrible. Yeah. But you know, flies flying around him all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, but no, then, I mean, then he just said, you know, um, you know, they say, oh, pick up that thing and do something. You know, improvise. You know, so the bit where I was trying to save the, um, Hedgehog's life right. was all kind of improvised with him shouting ideas and me improvising them. Okay. And that was how it kind of came to be. Okay. Yeah. You also have a controlled I, I'm sorry, wait. Hello, we're doing an interview. Um, sorry. Um, oh, touch. No, no, don't worry. Um, have to sit down and listen to my lines. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> So, what was the question before we were rudely interrupted by, I recognise him, don't know where. He got to uh, um, Wellington, he, um, he, he came uh, to see King Lear, and I think he saw Ian and I working together, and I think that's one of the various ways that I got the uh, part of Radagast the Brown. So, anyway, um, he, I'd heard him vaguely. His ch we went to a party that night, um, and these children said something about him coming in my costume, and then he didn't, and they were disappointed. And then a year or so later, two years later, eventually when we got to start making it, um, no mention was made of Doctor Who. So we worked for three years, and then on the last day, Peter made this speech, and when I did your last scene, and he gave you a, gave you a little present, a little card, gave me a bottle of wine from Bilbo Baggins' cellar, and my seat and my staff and all that kind of stuff and said nice things about working with me and then he did something really interesting and he said he turned to everyone else he said I was, I was great working with Sylvester he said because I got to work with Doctor Who <laughs> and he kept it quiet for three years but I thought it was very wise because if he'd started off being a fan then if, when he'd asked me to do stuff like I said you know the, the sta status would be one up, one down. Yeah. And I looked down and said, no, oh, Peter, I don't think I should do that. Yeah. But he kept it quiet wisely till the very end. <laughs> very shrewd. He showed me these two wonderful films he made uh, for fans. He was in England and he was supposed to go to LA for a, for a fan yeah. uh, thing. And um, he couldn't make it because he was in the West End. And so he made this witty little film with uh, the people that he was in the West End with, good stars and stuff like that, and sent it to them, apologising for not going. So then he, he was invited the next year, so he did another little film, again apologising, and then he was walking past uh, an exhibition of Doctor Who, and there was a TARDIS, and he went, I wonder, so he went into the TARDIS, and then he came out live in LA, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. Yes. And so he showed me these two things, and I thought, yeah, that could be part of that. And so that's how it all kind of started off. 
How was it like being directed by him? Oh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's out there, actually, he's just out there. No, it was great. It was uh, really good, and, and he's, um, yeah, he's got a very kind of quiet, sophisticated wit. Okay. I thought it was just, and Colin, I mean, he, it's Colin said to me, he said, this is the best job I've ever done. We loved doing it, it was yeah. great fun. And it was uh, Peter and um, uh, Georgia, his daughter, were the kind of two brains behind it. Yeah. It was lovely to do. Yeah. And I think it was better than the actual 50th. And we had a better cast. <laughs> you we had Oscar winners, we had Peter Jackson, we had Knives and Satan. I mean, yeah. And we outed uh, uh, John Barrowman. We had, yep. I mean, outed John Barrowman <laughs> That's right. as a heterosexual. Yeah. That's right, yeah. The world. Yeah. Minivan with his kids. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. I love that. <laughs> uh, it was a year last November we did it. Wow. Okay. And there was, uh, the, there was only, uh, we weren't all together at the same time. I was with uh, David Bradley and Colin, uh, yes. and we did our little bit with Jodie. And it was delightful to meet Jodie, yeah. who is an absolute delight. Lovely, lovely. Full of vim and vigor and fun. <laughs> Pleasure. Bye,